as you've seen today this is what came in the mail for me so let's check it out and see what it is Ta -da! this is the model PIP 3024GK the white and black it weighs about nine kilograms see that all right from MPP solar to JW solar USA let's open it up from MPP solar to JW solar USA this is the the PIP 3024GK is a 24 volt 3 kilowatt I've never utilized one of these before but I have the uh, PIP 2424LV MSD and I've done with the PIP uh, 5048 MG so this will be the third version I have the uh, I, am, I dealt with the uh, 5048 two of those modules uh, those inverters then uh, LV PIP 2424 LV MSD two of them this will be the other version here is the communication cable right here if you're curious this um, port cable is uh, RG45 to RS I think 332 32 whatever but um, here is the software the watchdog and that's the manual and few things in there so let's take this guy out and see the specification and after that I would like to um, test it I want you guys to come along with me and see exactly um, how we're gonna be dealing with this bad boy and I'm gonna be telling you why I got the 230 volt international this is a 230 this is not a split face or 120 this is not a US version this is international version stay tuned all right let's take the plastic out and see this is how the inputs or the outputs or the connection communication whatever looks like so it's already have like a pair of ports you can able to run this guy or stackable um, you see right here for the AC input if you have a generator or go to the grid and the AC out so the AC has a ground line and neutral which is the, they have the international have the, the brown the uh, green I think the black wire something like that so here is for the battery connection the batteries comes in here and here's the PV because it's a built-in MPPT charge controller it's an inverter charger with a charge controller okay you can see the fans here 12 volts I don't know if you can read it there you go powerful fans you had a input breaker here so this is a detachable monitor you can able to take this and able to do a lot of stuff this one here you can see the pair of ports has a, a micro USB or USB type C here and you can see it has the uh, functionality for um, for BMS as well I think that's what I read so if you look at it keenly you see what I'm talking about here and guys this is very interesting it has a bluetooth capability on it there you go and here you can tell um, the ports right here it's for generator start hard contact here is the USB I was talking about and here here is for lithium for BMS and here is for the computer so this wire here communication cable goes right here so it has a notch right here make sure this knot 
goes the other way. See the fine copper right there? Go that way. Snap. Okay. So if you're running a BMS, this one goes okay. This one goes to your computer, RS-232, or you can use another port, whatever. Then you can able to connect to Raspberry Pi, whatever. Some I've seen a lot of people doing stuff like that. Oh, there you go. Here, you can connect lithium batteries here to monitor your lithium batteries, and you can able to get this stuff out. Is a monitor. You can able to use like an extension, a display. Sorry, by taking out this screw right here, this one can detach. So, literally, if it, it, it detach. I suppose this is the port right here you can able to connect this guy so you can have your monitor okay you can use just a Ethernet cable I don't know how many prongs right here like this how many things I have to look it up like I said this is the first time we utilizing this and this is uh, one of the uh, not that most recent but kind of you know and uh, it goes right from there and connect to the panel right here so let's check the specifications on the side here and um, this is what it looks like I want you guys to see it this looks beautiful well anyway that's the peep 3024 GK. All right, let's check the specifications here. So this one came from um, Taiwan. So these are all the specifications I have here. It's a 3024 GK, and uh, operating temperature is 10 minus 10 to 50 degrees C. You can see the rated power is at 3,000 volt amp which is a 3000 watt the input is 24 and the required battery the inputs require battery is supposed to be 142 amps battery and the AC output is 230 volts and you might be asking why 230 volts you will know soon on the next video and uh, this is an international version I'm not using no transformer on this and uh, the outputs the AC output charging the batteries is uh, 13 amps and the AC input for generator which is right here the AC or, or the grid charging your batteries that will give you uh, it requires you see it right there Twenty point eight amps and is given at twenty seven volts DC nominal and the max is a sixty amp which the default the max is sixty the default is on thirty to charge your batteries okay that comes in and if we look at the uh, the solar charge mode there the rated power is four thousand you can put a four kilowatt of solar if you have the right um, voltage configuration you can go this <clears throat> you can feed into this guy the nominal operating voltage is 240 volt DC that's a nominal you can wire your panels in series to get that's 240 it depends different panel specification you got bigger panels the higher voltage it's just few panels you're gonna install maybe six panels or whatever whatever is 324 something whatever it is the voltage are higher like sun power has some high voltage panels and it can work for you or 250 volts or 250 watts solar panels you can wire I think about 16 of these can go to the 16 in series to make it easier for other people you buy 250 watt solar panels just wire them all in series then you're not gonna be maxed out you want to be on the MPPT mode within a hundred and your panel is supposed to be a wired in series up to this point 
120 volt to 450 although it's 500 volts you cannot go 500 volts you have to stay here just like any of the charge controller midnight solar out back and go 145 same as midnight if it's the 150 the 250 goes in different voltage but they have a cap that you can want to go more than that they want you to stay within this range 120 to 450 volts all right that's the series connection you got to do there and i'm going to be telling you the panels i'm going to be using here as well so we're running about 50 60 hertz which is uh, 13 amps all right so this is from mpp solar in taiwan i just want to show you this so Let's take a look. This guy can take in nominal 24 volt to 33 volt. High you can go. So it depends. You have to wire your batteries. Like for Nissan Leaf and other batteries, people are curious. Works perfectly. So you can just go uh, 8 volt. One panel instead of 8.3 or 8.2. You can use that. Nissan is the good batteries to do a lot of configuration into this it depends on the battery as well lithium ion phosphate whatever you want to do or the the charge controller this is a 60 amp ac and 30 default all right well this is what i have for you guys here and uh, tell me what you think it has a nice uh, vent here with um, um, a filter foam filter and you can mount it with one screw right here and two from the top here you can see one here and one down there and this one tells us the manufacturing date which is um, 2021 that's the seventh month seventh month 2021 so here is the other side of it and there's another vent right here and vent down here so these are the uh, the intake hold on okay the way mpp is doing it now they change because the lv 50, um 2424 lv um 2424 lv msd um instead of pushing the air out here it takes the air inputs and takes it out here this component is supposed to be uh um whatever take in but this one i think it takes from here and gives the exhaust right there so i might probably contradict myself a little bit on that um it has been a while with the lv msd so there's a filters here so it's gonna suck in here and take out here while the uh, lv msd 2424 takes right it takes down from here and push it up so it's different different uh, it's a different setup and uh, it's really cool good company and now they're officially um, officially uh, you are listed now in the United States so you can use this device if you are worried about if it's a US listed a UL listed yes they are now you you are listed so MPP solar I've, I've been having this dream for a long time that this guy someday will make it to the top so the inverter now the lv65 uh, 6548 lv they are all us compliance now so guys this is what it is i just want to share with you guys like and subscribe jw solar usa live from minnesota bye for now stay tuned for the other part so you can see what we're going to do with this inverter